Hey guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. So today, we're going to be doing a quick little overview slash initial kind of thoughts and review later on of the uh, LaRue Tactical MBT Trigger. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the package from uh, LaRue. It's kind of a uh, tuna can thing with some styrofoam in it, which is kind of a weird uh, package, but you know, whatever, gets the job done. So this is the MBT, or the Meticulously Built Trigger. Uh, kind of a pretentious name, but whatever. So the 2S obviously denotes the uh, two-stage trigger. First stage is 2.5. Second stage is a two-pound break. Uh, total weight about four and a half pounds. Uh, from my kind of, you know, finger trigger weight puller thing, that's it feels pretty close to about 4.5. 4 um, however, they do say the first stage is 2.5 and the second stage is two pounds. It actually feels a little bit the other way which really doesn't make that big of a deal, but this feels more like a pound and a half, honestly, and this feels more at least like two and a half pounds. But anyway, we'll just do a couple more of the breaks of the trigger here. So you have a nice, clean, smooth walk into the wall, and then you slowly increase weight, and it breaks very nice and cleanly, and the reset is nice and positive. One thing I like about the reset on this one is that sometimes when you get into the lighter stage pull weights of triggers and stuff like that. Usually the way they accomplish it is actually just to lighten the actual trigger spring itself. And what happens is their reset becomes kind of mushy and kind of just creeps out. This one, once you get about 50% of your finger weight off, it actually just kind of throws your finger uh, forward, which is, I don't know, more of a personal preference thing, but it does help with getting a little bit faster shots on target and stuff like that, if you are into that. And you know, if you're putting aftermarket triggers into your gun, I'm pretty sure you're kind of into that like I am. So anyway, uh, this thing came around, around uh, I think around like 90 bucks. At least it was on discount. I think they still have it discounted on their website for about 80 and some change. So basically 90 bucks. Um, I think it's actually a very good value with that price. <laughs> Originally when it came out, I think it was like 200 bucks or something. Like, fuck that noise. But apparently according to like their uh, ability to, you know, uh, just uh, optimize, you know, manufacturing and stuff like that. They were able to get the cost down or whatever. Uh, probably not. More than likely, they probably just had to compete with other manufacturers like uh, Geisley, for instance. But anyway, it is not a drop-in trigger. It is like a normal standard trigger. It is no pack, basically, is what I'm saying. So you do have to kind of, uh, you know, and st I mean, if you've done anything with your AR, it's very easy to do. You don't have to like bring in or any stupid shit. You do have to take the safety off because it will bind up. So that is one. This is a trigger that you do need to take basically your whole uh, fire control group uh, apart. So that is a thing. If you're not very comfortable with doing that, obviously, you know, find somebody that can or go to a gunsmith. No big deal. Um, but so far, I've had this about, uh, I think around four or five months, approximately a thousand rounds through it, a uh, whole bunch of dry fire practice on it. Uh, so far, she is good. I'm not really too worried about the trigger breaking or anything like that. Um, but so far, so good. Uh, some people may have a couple of qualms with LaRue Tactical. I am actually one of them. I did really, really like their company up until they did a couple of shitty shit. Um, and this, I guess, can go into another video topic, I suppose, about, you know, if certain companies do certain things, do you still support them even though they're kind of anti-gun or they do kind of some shitty shit? Uh, you know, that's a topic of a different video. I think everybody's kind of got their own line in the sand for what qualifies as, okay, I'm not going to be buying any more of their stuff. Uh, but, you know, that's it, it, it is what it is. So that's pretty much my review of it. Uh, it's a very, very solid, pretty goddamn good price for a very, very nice upgraded trigger. It is a two-stage and it's a little bit light, so it's more kind of a DMR kind of role for a lot of people. A lot of people kind of like the single stage, very light uh, trigger break. Maybe in a, even a flat shoe. This has a little bit less of a steep curve uh, as opposed to kind of like the GI one. So, you know, it, it does feel very nice in the finger and it does have a nice wide surface area too. So that isn't a big, big bonus in my opinion. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to really say about the uh, trigger. It's an awesome upgrade, especially at that price point. Can't really go wrong. I would definitely recommend at trying it out. Also, too, as you can see, I do have a couple of things on my, just a real quick plug for Radian. As you can see, I have the Radian safety here, and I have the Radian charging handle. Radian is doing some good shit, especially in their home state of Oregon, or Washington, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Oregon, uh, where they are currently finding some anti-gun bullshit there. So, you know, if you have some AR parts that you want to go buy, recommend it. Radian for a lot of the stuff, whatever they have, you know. If you're looking for especially charging handles, Radiance probably got the best. Looking for safeties, Radiance is probably the best. So anyway, 
quick little plug there at the end. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be good.